evening to all the viewers of analytics with anand so i welcome you all to this lecture number 11 where we will be discussing your spring function the most important function which you will working as a data analyst while working in any of the data analyst company so this is the lecture number 11 of mastering snowflake uh, SQL in the Snowflake, where we'll be discussing all your string related functions in detail, most of the important string related function which you can use in your daily life while working as a data analyst. So let me go straight into this. And unfortunately, today I couldn't come live at 10 p.m. due to some reason. That's why I'm recording this video and I'll telecast it at the 10 p.m. So anytime, anywhere, any of the function, you have any doubt, feel free to comment in your comment section and I'll happy to assess you then and there once I'm back. So I'll make sure that each and every comment is addressed very, very uh, to the minute details. So if you have any doubt in any part of the video, do let me know in the comment section and I'm happy to assess you. Okay. So sorry that I couldn't come <clears throat> live in this uh, channel. So but that's why I'm recording this video so that uh, your continuity is not hampered. So let me uh, drive straight into the snowflake. Okay. I'm sharing my screen. So here is the presentation. I hope my screen is visible. Yes. So this is the mastering string function in the Snowflake. So first of all, the most important function in Snowflake or in SQL, whether you are working in the SQL workbench, is your how to use Snowflake substring function. Substring is very, very important part. Suppose you want to extract any character from certain position to certain position, from certain fixed position to certain fixed position, then in that case, your substring will come into picture. Say, for example, name is there. Every, all the name in the world has first name and the last name. Suppose I want to extract all the first name. So I can use my substring as a function from the string domain. So substring is a function. Then I'll pass name over there. Name is the column name, whatever the column name of your table that you can pass it, or it should be any string, any string you can pass it in the double quote. Say I'm passing name. So name is Ram. I'm giving zero comma two. I'm giving zero comma two. So it is starting from the first index. R is zero. A is A is one, right? So R A. So zero comma two. So zero to two means two character. Starting from the first index. Starting from the first index gives me two character. So whatever you are writing at the end, that denotes the length of the substring. How many characters you want? Ram, R A, Raju, R A, Samir, S A, Sai Kumar, S A, Naveen Sai, N A, Shashi Kumar, S E, Rajiv Ram, R A. Zero comma two means from the first index, give me two characters, right? So see, so for example here, substring testing one two three four, substring testing one two three four. Make sure there's a space also after testing one space, after one space, two two after one space, then three again space. I want, I want from the ninth character. I want from the ninth character and total seven character I want. I want from the ninth character and total seven characters. Say, for example, I want nine character is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is my ninth position. Space is also counted as a character. So ninth is my one and I need seven characters. So after nine, seven characters. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So you'll be having one, two, three, four as your output. This is also a hot favorite question in any of your interview for a data analyst, for a fresher or experience. They do ask substring function. They do ask this substring function. So substring, you will pass the any string or any column name which you want to extract the character out of it. Then you will specify the uh, starting index. Starting index can be any position. I'm starting my position from the ninth digit and how many digits I want. At the end, whatever you are writing, that is the number of characters which you want in your output. Now, there's a trick here. I can also have my negative index. So negative index also I can give me when I want to count from the end of the string. When I want to count from the end of the string, select ID, name, substring, name, comma, minus two, comma, two from employee. Say employee database is there in which ID column is there name column is there and substring name comma minus two comma two. So minus two means what? Last two characters, right? I'm giving two characters and minus two. This is minus one. Last character is always minus one. Last character is always minus one. And this is always minus two. From the last minus two means from the last two, minus two, minus two, give me two characters. So here AM will come, here JU will come, here ER will come, here AR will come, AI will come, AR will come, AM will come and L uh, null will come here. Right. If it is a null, it will give you a null. If nothing is being specified, it will give you a null. 
So select ID, name, substring, name from name, minus two, minus two means always the last index is minus one. In Python also, it works the same way. Whatever the name or string you have, last index is always minus one before second last minus two, third last minus three, right? And the last position two means number of characters which you want, number of characters which you want. So this is the use of substring. Let me take you straight to the lab where you can see this. Okay, where there you can see this. Okay, so this is the lab. One second, uh, let me share my screen. One minute, I'll share the entire screen so that it become visible to you. Yeah, here you go. String function, right? So this is our database. I'm using use database, demo database. Now, whenever you're opening any sheets in um, Snowflake, you have to use any database which you have defined else. It will give you an error. So I'm creating an agent tables. Already I have created this and I have already inserted this data. Now, those who are watching this video for the first time, make sure you have gone through this basics of SQL video. I think selection number three or four, just uh, go into my YouTube channel and you'll find this video also basic SQL command. So if I do select star from agent, Say, for example, if I do select star from agent, I'll get all the 13 rows, which I have inserted it, which I have inserted it. Suppose from my name, Anand Kumar Chha, I want to extract seven characters from the index position one, from the index position one. So what should be my output? A, N, A, N, D, one space and K. Let's see what is the output. Let's see what is the output. A, N, A, N, D, space K. I told you, and we got this output also. You can try with the negative index also, right? You can try, suppose if I give here, suppose if I give here, Say, for example, minus five. What does it give me? Arja from minus five, which is minus five? Minus one is A, minus two is H, minus three is J, minus four is space, and minus five is my R. Minus five is my R, right? Guys, minus five is my R. This is minus five because my index position is starting with minus one. Minus one. So from minus five, give me seven characters. So from A, so from R, all the characters it will give me. We don't have seven characters. So from R, since you have defined a length more than the given character seven, it will take all the values from that, right? From R till Jha, because I need seven characters. If I give three characters, it will take three characters from the back. It will take three characters from the back. Say, for example, if I give three, so three characters from the back, R space J. Space is also counted as a character. Space is also counted as a character, right? Yes. See, for example, suppose I want to take the agent name. Agent name, we know. So 0, 2. I want to take the first two characters. First two characters from the agent. So I can write agent code, agent name, substring is the function. Agent name are to add from agents as initial agents. And I'll run this. Right? So I'm R A A N. This is the alias, as is always the alias. Always use it as guys. Whenever you are using any of the function, inbuilt function, whether it's a substring or any of the calculated measures when you are creating anywhere always have a meaningful name yes for that okay sounds cool right to get a string sum from an expression or string you can use the substring function if you want to get the substring in reverse order string also if you use the substring in reverse order use the starting index as negative the starting index will always be a negative value if you want to read your substring from the end the end you want to name backwards minus three comma three is the background i'm reading dir d Minus one is R, minus two is A, minus three is R. And I need three characters from the last. Very, very important thing, substring. Beautifully, you will be using in your data analyst. Right? Where I'll tell you where you will be using. Say, for example, the client which I was working, they used to program from time to time, right? Many campaigns, 100 campaigns, and each campaign name, <clears throat> and each campaign name used to be 100 characters or 20 characters. And at the end, at the end, there is a country code. And at the end, there's always a country code. So it's like this something and at the end i'm giving uk suppose you want to extract this uk so substring minus two comma two and you will get the country code in each camp suppose you know that at the end of my digit at the end of my this uh, string, two digit or last three digit is the country code embedded in it then in that case i'll be using string but there are others uh, function also in the uh, uh, string which I'll be, but you can use substring in that case right you can use substring in that case Okay, so this was about the substring. Next, next command which is coming in the snowflake is the cast command. What is the beauty of this cast command? Flake cast is a data type conversion command. Snowflake ca cast works similar to two data, two care function. I've told you in the date, uh, date function when I was discussing in the yesterday's class, two data type, two care, two integer, two number. You can always convert one data type, data type right? <clears throat> so two data type is something works like a cast. 
So if a <coughs> sorry, my bad. Today I'm having some little bit of uh, cough. So if a particular syntax is not possible, it raises an error. Let's understand the snowflake cast by the syntax and a few example. So what do you have to do in the cast? Cast source expression and expression. Whatever the source expression you are having, this is the expression of the supported data to convert, which you wanted to convert. Now, what is your target? What is your target? Contains the desired data type to which you want to convert the expression. You can also also decimal point and precision refers to the total number of digits in the number, including the digits of the decimal after the decimal. Say, for example, I want to convert some one twenty three into certain number. I can do that. But when the provided precision is insufficient to hold the input value, Snowflake cast command raises an error. Why it is raising an error? Two point one two as number. I want to convert. One twenty three point one two, twenty three point one two into number four comma two four digit number, but in four digit number with two precision. So this is out of range because here here precision is set as four, but the input value has a total of four digits. Raising an error is the same thing. Suppose you want to accommodate too many things into a small jar. The jar is sufficient. Jar is not sufficient to fill it, right? But you have a big jar and you have you can easily fit it into. Right, integer can be easily fitted into the double because double has a right. So in that case, one twenty three point one two has five digits and it cannot the what a precision is four. So use the precision accordingly. That's why in that case it will give you an error. In that case it will give you an error. Let me check. Go to the lab straight. Okay, let's go to the lab straight without lab. Okay, this is we have done snowflake cast. I have told you so cast example. Cast one point six eight four five as decimal six digit with two decimal place. Decimal I am converting with six digit and two de two decimal place. So it will cast one point six eight two decimal place. I want one point six eight, right? One. There's a huge space for that. It won't run. It won't append zeros at the end. So should print one point six eight zero 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 zero. Sir, you said six digit. So one point six eight zero should come. No, you are you are converting it, casting it to a decimal form. Decimal places. That is the scale. That is the precision you are setting it. There is also another way to do this. This command, or you can also use in single quote one point six eight five two two colon. You can use. My voice, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So one point six eight four five colon decimal six comma five. This also you can use it. This also you can use it. So select. You can also convert one uh, any date into timestamp format. Also, you can also convert any date into timestamp also format. So select cast ten September two thousand twenty one as timestamp. This also you can convert it. Okay, this also you can convert it as a timestamp. But by default, time will come zero 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 zero. So when the provided precision is insufficient to hold the input value, Snowflake cast command raises an error. One twenty three point one two as number four comma two. Number I am going to see this. There's a difference between line number fifty six and line number sixty two. Here I have taken decimal. Here I am taking number, right? So four comma two. Here it is giving an error, right? Here precision is set to four. First one is also the precision, but the input value has a total of five digits, so it won't work. Here how much is the digit in one point six eight four five one two three four five, and I'm setting six. Six is more than five, so that doesn't make any difference, right? There won't be an any issue. There won't be an any issue, right? There won't be an any issue, correct? So in that case, we can also use this cast command, cast function, right? Okay, correct. So this is the next one. 